Oh, hi, I'm uh, Andrew Jakubowicz, and I work on the Web Components team at Google. Uh, welcome to this lightning talk on the Labs Observers package. I'll cover what the Observers package is, then show two motivational demos for using the Observers package. Finally, I'll wrap up with the status of the package. Uh, the demos can be viewed through these links, so you can pull them apart and dive into them more uh, deeply in your own time. Uh, so what is the Labs Observers package? It's a tiny package that provides reactive controllers for four browser observers, the resize observer, the intersection observer, the mutation observer, and the performance observer. Each of these observers accepts some kind of callback function and will call the callback when some kind of change is observed. The resize observer can be used to report changes when a DOM element's content or border box size changes. The intersection observer reports when an element comes in and out of view. The mutation observer watches for changes made to the DOM tree. And finally, the performance observer reports changes in various metrics about browser and application performance. These browser primitives give you a lot of power. The Labs Observers package exists to make using these primitives more declarative and easier in lit. And this is done by exporting each of these observers as reactive controllers, respectively called resize controller, intersection controller, mutation controller, and performance controller. Additionally, the Labs Observers package removes boilerplate, the controllers hook into the lit element reactive lifecycle, the controllers are easy and declarative to use, and we maintain it for you. These controls are also tiny, so you can read and understand their 100-ish lines of source code. So let me show you some of these benefits more concretely. This is the lit.dev playground, and here we have an index.html page with two elements, a mock draw, which can open and close, and a simple resize demo element. The simple resize demo element should communicate its width and height in pixels in the center, are currently displaying 481 by 100 pixels. Note that when I open and close the draw, the width and height text in the center of the element doesn't update, even though the render method is querying the element's client width and height here. We need some way to detect this resize change to then schedule a reactive update on our element. We can't reach for the resize event on the window to detect the change because it doesn't handle some other element on the page causing our element to resize. This is the perfect situation for the resize controller which, as you now know, observes the element and requests a reactive update whenever the element is resized. We can import the resize controller from the labs package, then initialize it on the demo element. Now, the resize controller schedules reactive updates when a resize change is observed, which results in the text updating with the new dimensions. And the resize controller handles both the window being resized or the element being resized due to layout changes around it. Nice. Thanks, resize controller. The second demo uh, shows off the intersection controller. So shown here is our elements render method. We're iterating over a static list of shapes and generating a div for each one. The most important thing to take note of is that each shape element has this monochrome class, and currently it is always set. The result of this markup is a scrollable list of squares. If I remove the monochrome class from the divs by setting it to false, you can see that these divs become very googly shapes. So this is what I desire, for the colorful shapes to only appear when between the dotted blue lines. Otherwise, the shape should remain black squares. Uh, so functionally, I want to toggle the monochrome class based on whether the shape element is intersecting the viewport. With the intersection controller, we can observe child elements, and then we're told when the elements come in and out of view. So let's instantiate the intersection controller. The margin of the viewport can be set with a property called root margin, represented here by the dotted blue lines. This config says, tell me when the elements come in and out of this area. Whenever an observed element comes in or out of this view, the intersection controller callback triggers. And we do some bookkeeping to store which elements are currently visible in this is intersecting set. Uh, the intersecting set returned from the callback holds all the visible element IDs and is assigned to the controller's value property. And we're going to use this to toggle the monochrome class shortly. We also need to tell the controller to observe these child elements. So finally, 
we can use the controller's intersecting set to answer the is the element in view question, selectively toggling the monochrome class in the template. And now when we scroll, the shapes appear only when in view between those dotted blue lines. So in a real situation, you may use the intersection observer to trigger something expensive when the element comes in and out of view. Hopefully I've got your appetite to explore the intersection observer further. There's also the mutation and performance controller, which I did not have time to cover in a demo. They're interesting and you should check them out. So what's the status of the labs observer package? Well, we think it's a useful concept, um, but there is some room for improvement, specifically around providing a declarative API for observing children. Uh, so as you saw in the second demo, with a declarative directive-based API, that boilerplate for observing child elements will go away, as well as the callback code, that bookkeeping, and the new API will also be more flexible for observing dynamically rendered children. So we won't have to imperatively select them. We think use cases like that second demo are awesome and we want to support them. DOM observers already give a ton of power and this package exists to make using them more declarative and easier in lit. So where this isn't happening, we'd love to hear your feedback. Try out the observers package today. It's been a pleasure, thank you.